budget LS factory five roadster build update coming right up. Well, unfortunately I'm having some problems with the uh, clutch and bell housing alignment. As you can see, this fork here doesn't engage until about halfway through its throw. And then there's not gonna be enough, uh, not gonna be enough room here once the uh, slave cylinder engages to disengage the clutch fully. In addition, I put my master cylinder up, or my uh, uh, slave cylinder up here. If I left it the way it is and mounted my slave cylinder here, it wouldn't be enough. Um, the slave cylinder is already fully extended, whereas, whereas if it needs to start in, and then when you push on the pedal, it then needs to push the fork out. So, doing some research, uh, I do have some options. One of them being a thicker throwout bearing, or I should say maybe a taller throwout bearing, longer throwout bearing, however you want to want to term it. Also an adjustable uh, ball stud also is an option. I could also get a longer rod here on my slave cylinder is also an option. I could put some washers here on the uh, slave cylinder bracket. That would only move it maybe, you know, millimeters or a few. Uh, I don't have any room to re-drill these holes here and move the slave cylinder forward. I wouldn't be able to get a bolt uh, back there. So, uh, after, you know, doing a bunch of research and talking to people that know about this stuff way more than I do, I came up with, or I came up with some solutions here. Once again, thanks to Jeff in Spokane, who's also building a uh, um, Factory 5 uh, Roadster with an LS engine setup. He ran into some of the same problems. But he gave me a part number for a taller throwout bearing. We'll take a look at those, we'll take the old one out, check out this new one. In addition, I got this uh, adjustable ball stud. That I'm gonna put in there. Uh, I had to figure out that these are 11 16 threads that go in here on the outside. That, with those two solutions, that's gonna move this fork farther back. Um, and I'll play with that to see uh, if that solves the problem. take a look at these two throw out bearings here this is the one that I just took off and this is the new one yeah I mean it's at least I mean it's probably three quarters of an inch a little bit more than a half inch I think in difference yeah see how that looks
it does look like with this original throwout bearing, which is the thinner one, and with this longer adjustable um, pivot ball stud here, which I did a bunch of measurements on, looks like I'm pretty good. This is touching the bell housing here, and this is touching the pressure plate right there, which gives me a pretty good little buffer. Uh, this was adjustable, but I used uh, some red Loctite on there, and I tried to give it a turn, and I'm out of options. So it won't, it won't turn. So this better be good enough. But that's a heck of a lot better than what it was. I've got full, full range here, I think, once the uh, clutch is engaged. Let's see how this looks once I get the uh, slave cylinder on there. pretty good this uh, slave cylinder can't go in anymore and uh, that looks just about right so hopefully push on that pedal hopefully that's gonna be full clutch engagement right there that's not much distance but I think that's all it needs it should sure would be nice to be able to test this before I stick it in the car your hand right here? Yeah. I was trying to hold it. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to do, let's see. watching.